Hello viewers, in this video I'm going to cover all the details that how you can share your reports or dashboard with the business stakeholders. So one of the viewers, she wanted to know about the details of how or the options that you can share your report with the other users. Now let's get started. So uh, there are three places where you can publish your report. It can be either in my workspace or in a shared workspace or uh, with the Power BI app. So when you publish the report to the my workspace, then only you have access to that. So for example, if you are on holidays or on leave, then no one can have access to those project files which are saved in my workspace. So that is only for personal use. If only you are working on those, then you may can publish your report to my workspace. Otherwise, when you usually uh, you're working on the teams and so your uh, team workspace you can use to publish your report. Now, from the consumer side, when you share it, your reports or dashboard with the consumers, then they can have access to everything in it in that workspace. So then Power BI came up with this app where uh, your consumers can only have access to app. So this is app, it creates another layer between workspace and uh, the consumers sharing in a way that you can work on many different projects in the workspace, but then your end users can only have uh, access to only they need to view. You can also give access to different groups within one app. So we are going to learn all of this. So I'm going to open up Power BI and first I'm going to publish this report to Power BI service. So from home tab, I'm going to click on this publish and it's asking me to the workspace uh, where I wanted to publish this. So that is my workspace and the report successfully published. So I'm going to click on this link and here we are in Power BI service and this is the report we published. So and this is the workspace I use to publish. So I already had my um, other uh, report dashboard and the semantic model here and these two I just published here. So you can see that uh, when you give access to the end user, then they can have access to all of this. Now, most of them, they do not know what is going on here and which one they should open, where it shows everything here under the type, but most of the people are not familiar. Also, they, if sometimes uh, the organization do not want to give them all data, which is here. So in that case, you can only share this dashboard and reports to the end user. So I have to create a app then. So when I go to the workspace, like here, I have all entries here in workspace and here I can create the app. So I'm going to click on that. And now I need to give a, uh, I need to give a name to this app. So I'm go I'm calling it shared app and my description is uh, sharing reports and dashboards to different groups. Okay. And then you can upload the logo here. You can change the theme, which is, uh, I think the small things you can do here and those kind of things you can do. But I'm going to click on the next uh, page. So now we are on the content page and now we are going to have, uh, we are going to add the content here. Okay. And I'm going to add this all three. Uh, so two reports and one dashboard here. Uh, you can see here that it's not showing up the semantic model at all. So I'm going to add that. So I'm going to click on this next button. And uh, now I have this uh, new audiences that I can add. So I double click on that so I can rename it. 
and I am saying maybe Joe's team, sales team, sales team, and that is my one group. So I want them to view this adventure works data, but not the control so sales. So I'm going to hide the control so sales from that team. And now I have my next team, which is uh, Laura's team. And I'm going to uh, uh, give them access to the Contesso data, but not from, not for the adventure works. So things like that. So these two teams and both of the teams, uh, you can uh, give here permission, grant access. So you can give a specific user uh, or group email address or their names here and publish app. Of course, we don't want it to hear, uh, share with the entire organization but there is an option for that as well and then i'm going to publish this app so publish and now it gives you a link to have access or share this link to the audiences so you can copy it and you can close this then or you can go to the app so either you can share this uh, via this link or they can uh, have, um, if I go back and they, when they open up their Power BI uh, service and if they go to the app and get app, then they can have this organizational app here and they can view their data from here. So this is the way that you can give access to the audiences and that's the way that they can only view what they need. So for example, the Joe's team, they are going to view only adventure works and the Laura's team, they are going to only view the counter. So report and when you go to the shared app, there, there is all three available. So guys, this is all about how effectively you can share your reports and dashboard. And yeah, let me make one explanation here that your user can only see the updated version of it when you click here on update app. Also, you can schedule to refresh your app as well. So when it refresh, the, at that time they can view the new data or the updated any changes to the report or the dashboard. So uh, this is all about how you can share or distribute your reports and dashboard with the other groups. And if you like the content of the video guys, then please comment, like, share and subscribe my channel. And thank you for watching.